Are you preparing for Praxis Mathematics 5165 Geometry, Triangle Congruence, Angle Side Relationship, Similarity, Geometric Reasoning, and Justification? Then this is the video that is for you. My name is Tom and I am a test prep expert here at study.com. I'm going to walk you through some of the types of problems you may see on the test. In this particular video, we are going to practice problems including similarity, congruence, properties of quadrilaterals, and angle side relationships. Let's take a look at some practice problems. In triangles ABC and DEF, angle A is congruent to angle D, and angle B is congruent to angle E. Which of the following conclusions can be drawn? A, the triangles are congruent by angle side angle. B, the triangles are similar by angle angle. Is it C, the triangles are similar by side side side? Is it D, the triangles are congruent by side side side? All right, so the first thing I notice on here is the only information I have is that I have two angles congruent, all right? So any information here or any proof, either similarity or congruence that talk about sides, we can't use here. The only given information we have our two angles are congruent. So that means that I'm going to eliminate choice D. The triangles are congruent by side, side, side. We have no information about the sides. Also, choice C, the triangles are similar by side, side, side. Again, no information about the sides. And we're down to choices A and B. The triangles are congruent by angle, side, angle. Well, congruency needs more than just two angles. We also need an included side. So I'm going to eliminate that choice. So the only thing I can say here is choice B, that the triangles are similar by angle, angle. Given triangles PQR and XYZ with PQ is equal to XY, QR is equal to YZ, and RP is equal to ZX. Which of the following is true? Is it A, the triangles are similar by angle angle? Is it B, the triangles are congruent by angle side angle? Is it C, the triangles are similar by side side side? Is it D, the triangles are congruent by side side side? All right, so the first thing I'm going to look at up here is the correspondence statement. So we can see here, so we have PQ in my first triangle corresponds to XY, and I have side PQ equal to side XY, their measures. All right, so those two sides are congruent. And if I look at my other sides here, same thing. I have QR and YZ, and I have that they're equal here. And I have RP is equal to ZX. So RP and ZX are equal to each other. So that means that my corresponding sides of the two triangles are all congruent. So that means I have three co corresponding sides congruent. So I'm going to eliminate any choices on here that talk about the angles. So the triangles are similar by angle angle. I'm going to eliminate that. The triangles are congruent by angle side angle. Again, I don't know anything about the angles. So the correct answer here is D, the triangles are congruent by side 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 because we have three corresponding sides all congruent to each other. Now, the rule for similarity by side 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 is that the sides have to have the same ratio. Well, technically this would also be true in this case, but the better answer here would be choice D, the triangles are congruent by side, side, side. A student claims all quadrilaterals with two congruent sides are rectangles. Which of the following best evaluates this claim? A, the claim is valid because rectangles have two congruent sides. B, the claim is valid because opposite sides in a rectangle are equal. C, the claim is invalid. A counterexample is a kite with two congruent sides. And D, the claim is invalid. A square is the only shape with two congruent sides. All right, so looking at the student's claim, it says all quadrilaterals. So if we can find a counterexample where we have a quadrilateral that's not a rectangle that has two congruent sides, that's going to invalidate this claim. All right, so looking at my choices here, choice D I'm going to eliminate right away. It says the claim is invalid. A square is the only shape with two congruent sides. And well, that's a false statement. There are more quadrilaterals that have two congruent sides than a square. You can have a rhombus, rectangle, kite. Um, so those are some examples there. Choices A and B have correct statements in them, but again, we're trying to look through all quadrilaterals. So this is just focusing on rectangles. So I'm going to eliminate these and look at choice C here. The claim is invalid. A counterexample is a kite with two congruent sides. And that is the correct answer because if we look at a kite, I'm going to try to draw one here. So a kite 
has consecutive sides congruent. So this side's congruent to this side, and this side's congruent to this side. So the correct answer here would be C. In triangle XYZ, side XY is equal to 5 centimeters, side YZ is equal to 7 centimeters, and side XZ is equal to 10 centimeters. Which angle is the largest in triangle XYZ? All right, so what I want to do here is let's draw triangle XYZ. Now, it doesn't have to be to scale, but I'm going to try to make it where it's going to be a scaling triangle. All three sides are different. Okay, so let's make this side XY, so this is 5 centimeters, YZ is 7 centimeters, and then XZ is 10 centimeters. All right, so what we're looking at is in a triangle, the angle opposite the biggest side in the triangle is the biggest angle. So if we look at this here, we have side 10 is the biggest side in triangle XYZ. So if we look opposite the side that's equal to 10, we can see that we have angle Y here. So in this case here, the opposite angle from side 10 is angle Y, so that would have to be the biggest angle in this triangle. So we did this using the testing strategy of drawing a picture. Okay, these are a few examples of the types of problems you'll see on the Praxis Mathematics 5165 test. How do you feel about them? Let me know in the comments. For more practice, check out our Praxis Mathematics 5165 playlist. And for even more detailed practice, strategies, and customizable study materials, Head over to study.com and check out our Praxis Test Prep course. Those who use study.com boast a 92% pass rate. Our courses include full-length exams, hundreds of authentic practice questions, and short targeted video lessons, specifically developed based on the latest test updates. With our resources, you'll know exactly what to expect on test day. Like this video and subscribe to this channel to get all the latest Praxis test updates. And please leave your questions and success stories in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy studying.